I am a single 30 year old woman with three children driving a minivan checking out other dads. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Some men can't get past the fact that I have four kids, which is bull crap. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. So I don't need a provider. They don't need a father. So what's the hang up? Because you said I'm a hottest kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Um, I'm 28, a single mom, just divorced. And this dating pool is like not it. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. I don't get it. Like, where's the real people that want a relationship? Because I'm not finding any of that. You said I'm a hottest kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you're a single mom. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, I don't know if you guys, I don't know how long you guys have been here, but if you've been here for any length of time, you might have remembered a video that I did a while back that talked about toxicity and why you need to stay toxic. Uh, if you remember that video, you know, there was a lot of comments and people, people kind of nitpicked the video and whatnot, but we're going to revisit that. Okay. It, here's the deal. When you guys think of a society, uh, a healthy, normal functioning society, and in particular, let's say a first world society. When you think of that, there's a few things that you're going to probably think of. There's a few things that are going to come, come to mind. One of those things is going to be your amenities, stuff like gas, water, electricity, the internet, things like that. In order for you to have a first world society, really any society, but especially a first world society like America, Europe, Japan, Korea, anything like that, there is a lot of toxicity needed from a chemical standpoint. Think about it like this. In order for you to have lights, you have to have a power plant. All the power plants in America, with that exception of a few, are still powered by coal. So we got to go out and we have to dig coal out of the ground and we use that to power our power plants. Coal is extremely toxic and the harvesting of coal is now and has always been toxic to both uh, the people digging it out and the environment around it, right? There are some power plants that use uh, nuclear fuel, but guess what? Even like uh, nuclear material, your plutonium and all, all, all of that, your uranium and, and whatnot, all of that is dug out of the ground and that shit is extremely toxic. That's like the most toxic thing, right? <clears throat> so you guys have to understand everything that we use to power our cities or you know, it's gonna be toxic. Your electricity, getting your electricity, there's a lot of toxicity involved in that, right? Uh, if you want to have plumbing, you have to have copper pipes for like the city. The city uses, you know, copper pipes and, and nickel plated steel and all of this stuff. All of this stuff is, is you, you have to harvest it from the ground and it's extremely toxic, right? When you go back, when you go back to the 1700s, 1800s, maybe the 1500s, 1600s, we didn't have all this stuff. So back then, sure, you didn't have all these toxins floating around in the water or leaching into the soil because we hadn't dug that stuff out of the hills, right? We had the gold rush in the 1800s and gold, gold in and of itself is not toxic, but digging for it is toxic because there's other heavy metals around it and those heavy metals leach into the ground you you're getting all that stuff on your skin you're breathing it in if you've created a gold mine or a copper mine or a coal mine you're you know you're breathing in all these 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 heavy chemicals all of that stuff causes cancer causes you to go blind you know it's extremely toxic it, you know it just is what it is but all of these things are necessary for you to have your first world society. You want your cell phone? Okay, well you need some nickel, you need some cobalt, you need some cadmium, you need some silicone, and you need a bunch of aluminum. And you need some gold for uh, the, the, the silicone uh, boards in, 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 the, in the iPhone, right? So all of this stuff has to be dug out of the ground, right? And over time, we have refined 
our techniques for getting these materials out of the ground. But when we first started digging for all of these basic elements, steel, everything is made out of steel, right? We have to dig out iron ore and we have to add zinc or copper to it or uh, nickel, I should say. We, we have to we have to dig this shit out of the ground and then we, we you know we fiddle with it and then we make our products. Well, guess what? In the 14, 15, 16, 1700s, we didn't have the technology needed to get that in a safe manner. So lots of people were dying of cancer and dying of different diseases because that shit's toxic. And many, many years later, hundreds of years later, our soil is not as rich as it used to be. Our water is not as pure as it used to be. Why? Because when you dig that stuff out of the ground, those those hydrocarbons leach into the soil, uh, you know, there, there, there's different elements that have leached off of other heavy metals and, and they were st they, they were stagnant in the rocks, but now you've broken them out of the rocks and, the, and those rocks are mixing with other soils and there's runoff when it rains and, you know, that stuff gets sucked up into the atmosphere when it evaporates and, and you know, you have acidic, not acid, but acidic rain and it, it, it's a whole thing, right? It's a whole thing. The toxicity spreads, but all of these things are necessary for us to have the society that we have, for us to enjoy our first world amenities. Plastic, everything, nobody on this planet can go a day without interacting with something made out of plastic. Guess what? Plastic is extremely toxic. Everything about that is, is toxic, right? So you guys get what I'm saying. If you wanna have good things in life, and when, when I'm talking about good things for right now, I'm talking about amenities. You want to have good amenities in life, first world amenities. You want to have your your computer and your cell phone and your clothes and everything like that. There is going to be a bit of toxicity necessary to to get that that product to you. Right. There's, and when you're done consuming it, that product in and of itself is going to go to a landfill and contribute to more toxicity. But this is the life we live. If you want to have good shit, you're going to have to put up with a bit of toxicity. OK, I'm not trying to wax poetically about, you know, the environment, and environmental safety and climate change and shit like that. What I'm saying is this. Just like you have to put up with toxicity in order to live in a first world society and have good things. When it comes to being a person, a good person as a man, you are going to be toxic to the people around you, just like harvesting gold can be toxic. And the last time I made this video, people jumped in the comments and said, gold isn't toxic. That's not the fucking point. The point is the harvesting of gold is toxic because it's surrounded by other shit, right? Gold is highly valuable, but it's surrounded by other things. And when you dig it out of the ground, all of those, there's other toxins that are surrounding gold that wash off into the atmosphere, that get on your skin. There's other shit, right? There are, there's other shit that you have to deal with. You're inhaling heavy metal particles and whatnot, right? So that's what I'm talking about. In order for you to harvest gold, there's a bit of toxicity that is gonna be uh, necessary for you to endure. If you're harvesting coal, coal is, like I said, coal's toxic as shit. So when you are, if, 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 if you're going to be a highly valuable man in society, there is a bit of toxicity that people are going to have to deal with. Will it kill them? No, just like gold. Gold is not that toxic. Silver is not that toxic. Precious metals aren't that toxic. That's why we use them the way we use them. But there is a small bit of toxicity in the use. Not enough, not nearly enough to kill you, but the harvesting of those, of those elements can be a little bit toxic, like a, a, a lot more toxic, but even still, it won't kill you quick. But if you want those things, you have to endure the toxicity, right? Okay, it's the same thing with being a man. If you're gonna be a highly valuable man, you have to understand, you're going to have toxic traits about you and you should not go above and beyond to get rid of those traits. You don't see, if, 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 if you start fiddling with gold, and you try to make it less of what it is, it becomes less valuable. In the exact same way, if you are a valuable man and you let people badger you, you let people beat you down and tell you, 
you're toxic you're too much this you're too much that you're hard to deal with you don't you don't do this enough you don't do that enough when you start trying to refine yourself there's only so much refinement you can do before you're taking away uh critical elements of yourself right <clears throat> there's only so much i don't know how many of you guys have ever worked with steel but when you're working with steel and you're folding it over on itself you don't want to do that too many times right you heat the steel up and you fold, you heat treat it and you fold it over on itself and you know the more folds you get the stronger it's supposed to get but each time you do that you you start losing carbon and you don't want too much carbon to be in the steel, but you don't want to take too much of it out, right? So there's there's a, a recommended amount of times you're supposed to heat treat something or you're supposed to fold this, you know, metal over on itself to make it stronger because you're losing the things that make it strong. You're losing certain elements. You lose a small amount each time. So you can only refine gold so much. You can only refine steel so much. You can only refine something so much before you start taking away from what it is. And this is what women want. A lot of times women and people in society as a whole, they want you to not be at all the least bit toxic, but they want to reap all the benefits from what you are. You had to go through hell and high water to make yourself who and what you are, but they don't they don't care about that. They only want the good part. They, they they want you to be toxic all by yourself and they don't want to they don't want to endure no bit of that toxicity. And you guys have to understand, if if gold doesn't have all the requisite elements in all the right numbers, it ain't gold no more. Right? You can't dig iron out of the ground and not run the risk of, of some sort of tox toxins escaping into the atmosphere. Right? And you need iron to build your goddamn bridges and build your cars and all that. Right. But in the real world, the people who are going to get use from you, keep in mind, as a man, as well as a person, you're not valuable unless people can use you. So don't be afraid of people using you. That's the definition of values. What use can people get out of you? Right. And in the real world, women especially are going to try to get the most for the least. They want you to be pure, refined gold, 24 karat, but they don't want any toxicity to be associated with you. And keep in mind, I know gold is not toxic. I should probably be saying something like coal, but you guys get what I'm saying. They want you to be a very uh, valuable heavy metal. They want you to be something that's extremely valuable, while at the same time, most things that are extremely valuable, there's toxicity associated with it. They don't want to endure no kind. They don't want to get their hands dirty dealing with you. They don't want to get no kind of toxins on them dealing with you. And that's just not the way shit works. Right. You guys, you guys have to understand women. They, they want to receive everything and they don't want to give anything. Like I said, you are only valuable. If people can use you. Women don't like being used. If women do one thing, they expect three or four things in return. Right. That's just the way their minds work. They have a what I call what's well, not what I call. It's what science calls a zero sum mindset. What that means is if they see you get something, they feel like you got that at their expense. Right. They, they're going to feel like they got that thing at your expense or at their expense. So that means that they feel like they're owed or if they do something for you, they feel like whatever they did for you cost them greatly. So now they're at a loss. Women are transactional creatures. This is why they all practice hypergamy. So when it comes to you being a very valuable person, this is why they don't want to have to deal with any of the associated so-called toxins that are going to be you know, associated with you. You like let's say you make yourself into a wealthy person. They don't want you to be a wealthy person who knows his value, who's very focused and you know very domineering. They want to be able to control you. Because if they can't control you, then that means they can't control your wealth. If you're one of those guys who is, you know, you, you've worked hard, put yourself in a good position. Now you're wealthy. You're in a, in, in a really good uh, position in life and you don't let people walk over you. You know, you, you tell people what the deal is. And when they decide to, you know, go against that deal, you dismiss them rather than arguing with them and rather than negotiating with them. If you're a person like that, they're going to say you're toxic. They're going to say you're manipulative. They're going to say you're controlling. But that personality type is what got you to where you're at, right? It's just like any precious metal. It's just like any valuable resource. 
that valuable resource and the associated toxins and, and things, that's what makes it valuable. You have to deal with that, right? You have to deal with that. You can't just say, well, the element needs to be different. That's not how it works. Because when you start refining the element and making it less of what it is, yeah, you can make it less toxic, but it's also gonna be less effective, right? So when you're dealing with women, when you're dealing with people in general, don't let them make you less like like yes there there is a level of refinement that you should have you shouldn't just be a knuckle dragging neanderthal right but at the same time you have to understand everything that went into making you successful everything that went into making you what you are you're supposed to hold on to that you you, you know you had to pay a price to become successful you had to be you had to pay a price to become what you are why shouldn't they pay a price in dealing with you? They shouldn't get what you are for free, right? Women want a guy who can pay all the bills. They want the so-called provider mail, the guy who can pay all the bills and the guy who, you know, can, you know, make their financial troubles go away. Okay, fine. If, if you have it like that, do it like that. But at the same time, you should be purchasing something. If you, if a woman steps to you or you step to a woman and you guys are going to get into a relationship and you are that top notch guy and you got money like that, realistically, she's going to want you to be very malleable and very generous and very kind. And she's going to want you to give a lot and she's not going to want to give anything in return. She's going to want her presence to be enough. She's going to want the very little things that she does for you to be enough, which obviously it's not. Right. So what do you get for all your effort? What you should get is her silence, her submissiveness, her obedience, her cooperation. But these are words that they don't like. Right. Silent is toxic to them. Obedient. That's toxic to them. Submit. That's toxic. Be agreeable. That's toxic. Stay in shape. That's toxic. So you, you have to understand Women are going to try to give you the, the smallest bit that they can give you while at the same time extracting the largest amount they can extract from you. Even still, they're going to want you to look at yourself as different. You might be gold. And once again, I understand gold in and of itself is not toxic. So you, you might be, let's say, uranium and you have the ability to power a city. But they want you to refine yourself to have no toxic traits. And that's just not the fucking case. Right. I know this is this is probably a bad example because, like I said, gold isn't toxic and, you know, uranium is very valuable. But everybody's not you know, everybody doesn't have a damn power plant. But you guys get what I'm saying. They want you to be a very valuable resource that traditionally people have to put up with a lot of headaches to attain. Even even just money, basic money. You got to put up with a lot of bullshit to get to that point where you're making a lot of money so when you like when you meet a woman if she's a woman who's making you know 120k a year do you think she's going to be easy to get along with no because nine times out of ten she had to do a lot to get to that level right like now she could have gotten lucky or she could have just been born into a good position but most women if you're doing that you're like either a doctor or a lawyer or something like that Right. That's that. That's you. You're you're drawing a pretty good salary. Women like that are always monsters. They are monsters to deal with. It's like, yeah, they might have like, you know, a decent personality. But women like that, they become their job. They become that dominant, domineering person and they become very masculine. And it's like you can't you can't refine them. When was the last time you saw a woman who made really, really, really good money? And she legitimately had a fantastic personality. Like she wasn't toxic at all. She wasn't controlling at all. She wasn't like manipulative. She wasn't like she was not a bitch. You, you probably have never seen it because that, you know, the, the, the journey you have to go through typically to get to that level, it changes you. It makes you toxic. And it's like, look, you got to you have to deal with that person as they are when you meet them or however you meet them. That's that's what they are. Now, yes, like I said, you should be refined to some degree, but it just doesn't work that way. So what I want you guys to take from this is if you've worked yourself into a good position, if you're working yourself into a good position, keep doing that. But don't let people change you. Not too much. Like be functional in society. Don't be you know, a psychopath towards people. But the person you've become because of your journey, that's 
That's that was what was necessary for you to get to where you're at, especially if you're successful. Do not let women browbeat you into being less because they don't want to give you more. They don't want to have to do more in order to get the good thing that you represent. Just like gold represents a good thing, just like steel represents a good thing, just like, you know, power represents a good thing. You have to deal with the associated element necessary to give that to you. You want power for your lights? You got to you got to dig some coal out of the out of the hills. You want gold for your electronics or for your jewelry? You got to dig, dig some gold up out of the hills and you got to deal with all the bullshit that comes with that. So if people if, if, if you are a good man and you've worked yourself into a great position in life, financially, socially, whatever, don't hide what it is that you are from these people. Don't turn that in on yourself. Make them deal with that shit. That's their price. Right. That's their price. You are toxic for a reason. All right. So I ain't going to beat this into the ground. Uh, let me know what you guys think and I will get back to you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.